nails, scrap iron or lead, wire and other similar metal objects were often loaded into naval guns. Such projectiles have been known since at least the 16th century as Langridge, or the 17th century nicknames of partridge shot or hail shot. Experiments in gun design and canister proliferated during the 1700s and canister shot was well known by the time of Trafalgar. Canister shot consists of a closed metal cylinder, typically loosely filled with round lead or iron balls. The musket shot would be supplied by the Admiralty Board of Ordnance, but as you can see, with the supply of lead, which would be freely available on most ships, a handheld mould, such as this early 19th century reproduction, a ladle and a source of heat, and lead can be melted at just 327 degrees centigrade, so it's low compared to most metals, means casting is simple, so stocks could be easily replenished when needed most. At close quarters, these shots, which could be used to top off an 18 pounder load, would be used to kill or maim enemy gun crews, or flens the decks of enemy vessels preparing for boarding action. Canister shot consists of a closed metal cylinder, typically loosely filled with round lead or iron balls. The balls are packed with sawdust to add some solidity and cohesion to the mass and to prevent the balls from crowding each other when the round was fired. The canister itself was usually made of tin and dipped in lacquer or beeswax and uh, this was used to prevent corrosion of the metal. Musket shot like this could also be used to add extra killing power to British smasher guns. The carronade was a monstrous 65 pound short range cannon used to cripple a ship, potentially with a single shot if placed through the stern of an enemy. At Trafalgar, HMS Victory's two carronades on the foredeck were double shot and then topped off each with 5,000 musket balls for a single devastating assault. <laughs> 